Good morning, 20 to 7, English speaking episode, more or less means game devlog episode. <laughs> Today I will tell you about changing projects, <laughs> which is kind of a problem which uh, every game developer faces from time to time, I guess. So I invite you. I'm opening fridge and there is skull inside so I'm guessing I'm not having bread breakfast today. Okay, so agenda for today, two bullet points, Godot Wild Gem 61 failed to deliver and new experiments. So let's start with the first bullet point. Godot Wild Gem failed to deliver. In my last uh, game dev vlog, I was presenting you the balloon game, uh, which I was designing for Godot Wild Gem, and I failed to to add anything else to this build. Uh, I decided to not not to submit it anywhere and just <laughs> abandon it. So, yeah, that's, <laughs> uh, I, I still, yeah, 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 basically, <laughs> that's, that's all <laughs> for, for this topic, I guess. Yeah, this is the second build point, new experiments. Since I failed to deliver, I was kind of angry, disappointed, sad, tired, ah, whole bunch of negative emotions. So I decided to immediately jump into the next project, not related to any game jam, uh, just to test some physics ideas. And I worked with tutorials, I worked with uh, documentation, I had some ideas and I also <laughs> worked with uh, chat GPT uh, with some, some ideas and basically I prepared small demo uh, with <laughs> character which I can control and kind of homing missiles which are uh, going towards this airplane. Yeah. <laughs> this is my current state of this experiment. For these experiments I'm using uh, Kene uh, tiny uh, battle assets. Uh, those assets are here. I basically love this tiny Kenne uh, series. I yeah, I basically used some at some point tiny dungeon, tiny town, and tiny battle. I didn't use tiny sky yet. <laughs> yeah, but those assets are nice for rapid prototyping. So. Uh, yeah, this is my airplane. I have probably other color. Uh, and is there a rocket somewhere here? <laughs> probably not, but on the general yeah asset sheet there is a rocket here. Yeah, so I'm using those assets and I'm w trying to, to build something interesting. And by something interesting I'm thinking about Itano Circus, which is a style of animation related to um, firing massive amount of homing missiles into the uh, one selected target. Can I make it? Oh yeah, this is better. <laughs> so basically there is a one running object running away, usually airplane or uh, battle robots or, or battle robot or person and massive amount of missiles fired usually from one spot going yeah towards this target <laughs> yeah well, i'm thinking about doing something like that in 2d there is an article on little polygon game dev blog dedicated to uh, macros um, missile massacre or itano circus and basically the author is trying to implement those 
homing missiles in 3D environment and he did some math here and and stuff and I'm thinking about implementing something like that in to, in 2D gameplay so maybe maybe it will be possible hey, he also have some nice uh, ideas about Perlin noise kind of pseudo random oscillator it's erratic but also smooth yeah maybe maybe I will try to implement something like that <laughs> it should be nice I also found YouTube tutorial how to make your bullets look awesome in Godot advanced advanced trails and it seems that author is doing something similar here so maybe he will explain how he did that and maybe I will be able to implement something of his ideas yeah so basically uh, working on juiciness I guess this is the term so 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 working towards um, gameplay being more also awesome, cool <laughs> and uh, yeah basically f full of juice in Polish we have the term for this it's called miodność uh, which is more or less honeyness <laughs> honey this product of bees so originally it is juice and in Polish we are using the honey <laughs> and it means more or less this, the same yeah so basically uh, my idea to, to getting getting to, to collecting experience in game development is to write as much prototypes as, I'm, as I can and then fr from those prototypes from those ideas uh, random implementations go organically towards something bigger something uh, more or less looking like a game not just contraption yeah so <laughs> It seems that this is all for, for this week, so thank you for watching and uh, I invite you next week and I wish you good luck with your game dev projects. Thanks, bye.